Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Excellent. My name is Doug, and I live in Tennessee in the United States. Wow. Okay. My name is Neha, <laughs> and I'm from India. Well, it's very nice to meet you, Neha. What part of India? West Bengal. Oh, gotcha. Beautiful area. Is it a little warm there today, or was it warm today? It's very, it's very warm here because it has been raining, and when yeah. it stops, then it becomes very humid here. That's the yeah. problem. Here, it's actually been kind of cool. I think today it's maybe 16 or 17 degrees Celsius, so it's been it's been nice weather today. Um, but yeah, I know that I have a friend who lives in Bangkok, and during the rainy season, it'll rain and then get super humid. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Temperature-wise, in the summer, we stay... Our temperature here in the summer in Tennessee is usually very high, very hot. Um, how long have you been studying English? Uh, actually, I have been studying this since childhood, but the problem was that uh, I don't have any partner to, you know, have yeah. my conversation. So that's the problem. So I had my subject. I, I have, uh, yeah, I had my subject in schooling also, in college also. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, but uh, now I'm a mother of two kids. So that's, that is also the reason to improve my communication yeah. <laughs> skill. And at the same time, English. Yeah. So Here actually you... in India, uh, English language matters a lot. I know, yeah. and it's, it's the way it is in a lot of places now, too. Um, I have a lot of students in Turkey, and Turkey is trying to develop more international banking and um, uh, computer things, so they're trying to really encourage English speaking. Um, you speak in very good English, so you do, work, you do very well. Um, you. Are you teaching your children? Your, are you teaching your children English? Yes, I actually, I'm just, I have my conversation. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. what I'm doing. Yeah, Excellent. I'm trying to make this such an environment, such an environment in my house right. so that they can get the exposure of this language. That's awesome. I, I truly believe that children who are exposed to multiple languages, you know, whether it's like English, as a, I think that it does them so much good. Um, yes, yes. I, uh, you know, I think it helps with their learning development, everything. So, good job. I wish yes. more parents would think that way. Yeah, if it comes to language, I always feel like like everyone have their different perception of language. Yeah. But I always feel like that English is a beautiful language. And French is a very smart language. I mean, very attractive <laughs> language. I, I love to love I love to learn French language a lot. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, but it's so it's, funny it's because here, yeah, you know, here we think the opposite. It's like I think Hindi is a beautiful language. <laughs> you know, I think that you know, I'm okay. learning to sp I'm learning Thai. <laughs> I'm learning to speak wow. Thai. I think Thai oh. is beautiful, but yeah. English. Oh. I don't know. English is a beautiful language in the fact that it has borrowed so much from so many other languages. You know, English is a combination of Germanic words, Celtic words, Latin words. We have, we've adopted, we even have some Sanskrit based words Sanskrit that, make, words? that have oh, made it into please, English. Would you please oh, yeah. tell me any Sanskrit word? Hang on. I will, I will find one. Let me find one. Uh, oh. Let's see, Sanskrit, because I, it's like I can't remember right off the top of my head. Sanskrit based English words. Um, you know, I mean, because the British Empire was in. Uh, yes, yes, yes. In India, they ruled. Uh, they ruled, and uh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. here's a good one. Create some dental. Is... Dental. Oh, dental is. Uh, uh, like, the, oh, okay. Yeah, the the Sanskrit word is uh, danta. Okay. Wow. And it made it okay. into it made it into Latin, of course, as dentist and then dental. Um, oh, oh wow. the word door in English, door, you know, like to close and open a door. Oh, okay, actually okay. comes from the Sanskrit word dwar. Dwar. Got it. Okay, okay. 
but it comes you know it's filtered through latin and greek you know it came through greece and and italy at some point but i'm trying to find other more modern words that would have came from like the british empire you know when they were in india um haha oh. Ha. oh ginger we use ginger we talk about hair wow. color ginger um let's see umbrella ginger the word wow. aryan atoll uh, when we talk about an island and atoll that's from the sanskrit word uh antala yeah there's all kinds of different uh banyan Okay. Jim, Jim. Okay. Yeah, there's there's just there's all these little holy crap. The word candy, you know, crystallized okay, candy okay. sugar. It That's was not originally. Different. Yeah, okay. it came from uh, Sanskrit. Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's, That's really kind of cool. Yeah, I found a list of them. But, but you know, we borrowed, like here in the United States, we of course have borrowed some of those words too. But when we added. We've even added Native American words. You know, I live in the state of Tennessee. Tennessee is a, is a Cherokee word. Um, you know, we've adopted a lot of Native American words into our lexicon here in the U.S. I mostly place names. Um, yeah, but it's interesting. That's interesting. Right. It's interesting, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I, so uh, do you? Uh, yeah. Uh, do you think that because here what happens? I feel like uh, teaching kids are really very tough task and even i think parenting is really very big task how do you it do, is and how do you describe this parenting oh i mean parenting is the ultimate job it's the ultimate mm. and it's there, difficult no, and there is no any you know uh, ultimate parenting i mean the best parenting or uh, you know yeah I, my yeah. my personal opinion of parenting is if I had a child I don't have children I have two nieces okay. but I dealt with I dealt with my nieces like I do with all children the more I the more they are exposed to to knowledge and variety of knowledge the better um oh gosh my niece when she was still a she was barely walking you know she was a little thing I would take her out her and I would take walks through the forest and you know, I would have a little guidebook and we would identify flowers or we would identify bugs, you know. So for my nieces, I was always taking on my journey, learning something new. And my both my nieces are now teachers. They both teach. Um, the one's 29, one's 24. Well, the youngest one is more into sports medicine. She's actually teaching part time, but going to school to go into she wants to go into sports medicine so she's working on a master's in sports medicine oh. um but i do think even as a parent i know sometimes just being able to make sure the child doesn't hurt themselves is a full-time position that's sometimes yes. number one but you know making sure they're physically healthy making sure that they are not hurting themselves well nutrition that is a lot of work yeah that is Trying to find a way to turn teaching <laughs> teaching yeah. into fun. You gotta be, you know, it's like when you're doing fun things, when you're doing educational, trying to find ways to make it enjoyable for you too. You know, because you, you want to be, uh, you know, you want to have fun doing it too. So, like any kind of education things that you do with your kids, make it a game, make it something yeah, fun. Um, yeah, make it something you would enjoy as well. Yeah, kids can yeah. Tell it. yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, and yeah, I mean, I'm not ashamed. In this pandemic, yeah, in this pandemic time, I feel like that that kids have uh, been watching the TV for a long, long time, and it becomes yeah. hard. It has become yeah. hard now to you know to take them away from the TV or. Uh, well, I mean, TV is, is, it can be a great tool. Uh, educational, educational, it could be, but most of the time. Not at all. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think most of the time online it's not. Classes. And even here in India, they are taking online classes for one hour. And after yeah. then, they actually, they will, they will love to watch some cartoons, you know. So, yeah. you know, we are, they are bound to watch um, uh, TV for at least two or three hours. Be, yeah. Be, uh, yeah, so that has become really tough. Yeah, it would be. 
how is educational television there? Do you have, because um, you know, here we have like Sesame Street, we have educational programs that are part of public television. Because um, when I was growing up, of course, it was different when I was growing up, we had very limited channels. Yeah. You know, so I, we watched a lot of educational television, you know, Sesame Street and all of that electric, electric Avenue and or whatever, electric company. But I don't, you know, kids, there's just so much. Yeah, you know, so yes. much now. And I know, you know, it's I always refer to sometimes as television is the great babysitter because kids do getting, you know, they get engrossed in it. And yeah, but, yes. It's hard to find that balance. You're absolutely right. How do you, how yeah. do you pull them away from the TV? Yes, yeah. yes. That has really become tough uh, to manage. That yeah. uh, that I yeah. that I'm really facing a lot these days, and I am yeah. trying. Uh, can I say like this that I I'm trying to cut down on watching TV? Yeah. How to say yeah. this sentence? That, that, that I mean, you said it to cut down on watching so much television to limit television time. You know, oh, you're okay, wanting okay. to limit their time. I mean, okay. you can do it. So, you know, you can decrease, set like... You can't say decrease, right? To decrease that time. Uh, yeah. TV. No. Yeah, yeah. Decrease the TV time. Yeah, okay, that's, okay, exact, okay, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think it's hard, but I think that you, you know, you set those boundaries. You say, you know, this is when you can watch TV. Set the boundary. That that's set the it. boundary. And then just set that boundary. How does your husband feel? Yeah, actually, uh, yeah, my husband also feels the same. Yeah. He, yeah, yeah. If he backs you up, if the two of you are together in that, I would set the boundary of t television time, and then I would have time to play, you know, games with maybe play educational games as well. But you've got to to break that cycle. You just got to stick to it. Just yeah, that's yeah, so that's cool. about the best way to do it. Best because, you know, you even you and I growing up, how things have changed just in your lifetime, you know, oh, my God, kids have access to everything now. We no. don't have that. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah. But but we have to limit it anyhow. Yeah. 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 We did. And we, we used our imagination. You know, yes. it's like I yes. didn't have access to TV. So I was outside playing with my friends, you know, my neighbors or yeah. I, 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 you know, reading, I read a lot. My, my sister sports, she was into playing basketball and volleyball and all that. But for me, it was like reading, hanging out with my friends. You know, I didn't sit in front of the TV. Yeah, we didn't have any choice. There wasn't anything on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think we got three channels when I was growing up. Yeah. Oh, exactly. <laughs> we, have, we had very yeah. interesting channels. And now... Everything has gone changed now. Yeah. Our, yeah, and, uh, yeah, our life was totally different. And now yeah. their generation is totally different. We can't match even. Then, yeah, do, you, do you think it's become too easy for... It's just... I think that we there's a level of... I call it the dumbing down. That dumbing in, down means? That, yeah, dumbing... That intelligence is dropping. Because oh. kids... You know, with us, we, we had to learn to learn. We had to be able to go to the library and look up things. We had to exactly. read. We had to work for it. And I think it made us able to think, able to, able to. learn. I think sometimes it's too easy for kids. Oh, ah, like time father. is so limited. Oh, time I know. is so limited. I sound, okay. like, I sound like my father. Okay. Oh, it's <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah. you take bye -bye. care. It was so nice talking to you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, little one.